Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a text field inside Swift UI. So first off you're going to want to start by creating your iOS app project and making sure the interface is set to Swift UI. Then you're going to choose somewhere to save it. That's going to open up your app and it's going to default to that content view. The content view is basically a preview of the um, page that will open when the app opens if you've only got one app uh, one page I'm clearing out the um, additional um, views inside the V stack that I don't want to include so the image and it may just take a little while to load up because it's the first time opening Xcode today so once it's loaded you can go ahead and make some changes you're going to want to have a state variable and that's going to basically be the value that is going to be the default for your text field. Um, if you didn't provide a default, then it would default to, then you could like default it to nothing. Um, and basically when that value changes, it's going to trigger the um, change on screen and also re-render anything that relies on that state variable. So I'm creating my text field. And I can give that a little title. I'm just going to say that's called name. And then I'm passing in the default value, which is going to be my state variable. I can reference that with the dollar sign there. And you can see I've got a text input with world in it, but it's not actually clear the boundaries of that world. So I'm just going to add a style so that we can see that outline of the text field. So I'm specifying that I want a text field style modifier. And I'm going to say that the style that I want is a rounded border text field style. So you can see now that there's a little border around, around the outside of my text field. And then in this hello world text, I actually want to display the name that's been entered into the text field. And this is just showing you how you'd get the value back out of the text field. So you can see as I make changes, it updates that text view. I'm going to go ahead and run that on the iOS simulator. Uh, it, you can see that it was working in the preview. I just like to run it and, um, because I, I guess, come from a time where there, it wasn't so accurate. Um, and yeah, I just like to make sure that everything's looking good with the simulator. And I just use that preview as like a sanity check type thing as I'm coding along. Cool. So you can see that now I've got this um, simulator open and it operates as expected and the name that I enter in the text field shows on the text. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.